Hey YouTube, this is Jackass22, and this is going to be a case review of The Viewing Shell. Not 100% sure who made it, but I'm actually using it right now, completely, and this is what it is. It's just a little back stand for your iPod Touch. You either can view it, oh, you either can view it this way, watching a video, playing an app, I guess, and also this way, especially for watching a movie and also playing an app that did not need any motion sensor at all. So I will take this part and show you guys this stuff about this iPod. The way I take it off is by the top. It's usually easier, but let me just try to see. All you do is pop it off. I don't know if you guys uh, watched my entire video last time, but I'm sorry for about the autofocus noise. I try, I always try doing it without autofocus, but and it ends up being very crappy and sorry about that anyways this is what it looks like it's completely clear the only thing I do have about clear iPods cases it is oh I also it's designed by DLO and the only thing I do have a problem about clear cases is that crap and dust and dirt get under your iPod case this is what it looks like without the iPod in there it goes around your iPod to snap on case as holes for all your iPod buttons it does not cover the home button that's one thing I do not like when it covers the home button one thing I do have a problem with is see that little hole that's where stuff can come in like dirt when when uh, you used to put it on the table or something but when you close it up that's where the little spring goes and this is what it looks like without the stand up out stand up to get it out there's two little indents you take your fingers and then wiggle it out and it is a pretty good one a case but sometimes it does not really want to give it at all see I can just pull it up like that to make it fully in there like if I push it down as hard as I can right now I will probably end up breaking it but if you push it down, it will stay down, but there's a little tiny indent. I probably can't show you guys that. Yeah, you can kind of see it, like right there. If you pull it up and pull it out, that's where how it goes. Anyways, this app is $23. I'm not 100% sure of your location you're in. But I got this at Best Buy, so... I just wanted to get a iPod with a stand. Try it out. This, I, I kind of like it, but that some things I don't like about it I the only thing is that it does come apart very easily today I dropped it from about not even three feet it cracked into two, the two original pieces like that on the ground and just left my iPod like just laying there it was very worried about my iPod cracking that's one thing about it and also again with the hole for no reason and let me see if I can show you guys this time I tried making another video of this no, it's not there, of course. Oh, yeah, it's there. You guys see the apple sign right there? That's some dust, or some... I can't really get that off. I can't get that off. It's some dust it got under this thing right here. The hole. That's one thing I do not like about this. Also, I'm just not a big fan of clear cases. That's another part, but... If this thing was black or a different color, I would definitely like this. But it's a viewing shell. I guess that's what it's called. For and yeah, I'll show you guys how to click it, put it on. What you do is just put your iPod in here, put your stand, and then you connect. Let me show you guys the four connectors. See the little indent coming out. Another indent right there. Another one right there. Another one right there. I think there's four, let me check. There are, I think, five or four connectors you could put in. Connect them with their pos- ooh. Connect them with their position. Line them all up and then push them all together. You do not want to push- I don't like pushing them all at once because it takes too much time. Ooh, okay. Once you get all the snaps, you're good. Let's see if I got them. 
One thing to tell if they're not all snap is when the case is not leveled up. And I think I got all of them. That's what it looks like. It does pr stand up pretty good. See, it, it says oh, okay sometimes. Push them down like this, it is pretty good. Pushing it, it will fall. Especially falling this way. Pushing it. Oh, see, they fell. Well, this is. I think you guys should probably go out to get this case. I like it a lot. If you are a big fan of viewing and you want to stand for your iPod, instead of buying one of those five dollar ones, you just get it with the case. Because there aren't that many cases worth eighteen dollars. This is like easy, free stand. Very good case. Very good quality. It does have protection on top. You can see that this thing goes over it. Why do this? I cannot feel the button. Over here. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. It goes a little bit above. Not enough. I think it should come a little bit more, but I like this uh, product. You can see everything in the back, especially because I have very clean back. And you can see everything. And that's really all. It does cover up, but it, one thing I like about it, it does come fully cover up the bottom. You cannot, you can barely see it. It goes straight over it. And that's really all. I would have to rate this case out of five stars. I would have to rate this case three because not a ten, uh, ten stars. I would have to rate this case probably about a six or seven. It's not the greatest case. You can go fi probably go find like a candy shell to find some real protection. But this case is very good. It has a stand which I like a lot. And that's really all. This is Champ S Champ S22. Don't forget to, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I don't know if you guys see my channel, uh, if I get, I think, 50 or 25 subs uh, subscribers, I will have a giveaway. So, tell all your friends. And that's really all. This is Chad Babs 22. See all you in my next video.